Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Jonathan Erzari with JI Fitness and just welcome to my place. Come on over here. Come on. So I know it's been a long, long time since y'all seen the video from me. But I can explain, you know, we can talk about this. But first, let's go ahead and give a tour of the little apartment that I have here, my humble abode. Here's a wonderful kitchen up front. This is where all the magic happens. You guys know when it comes to fitness, the kitchen is king. Obviously a little chill spot, got an Xbox, play a little bit of games, watch some Netflix and chill. <laughs> you gotta slide that one in there. And then this is where I work. This little spot here. It's a beautiful thing, it's gone everywhere with me, all over the world, takes care of my business. And then we have these lights just for uh, certain things whenever we wanna do some cooking videos and stuff. I'm lazy, I have water delivered to me even though the grocery store is right That's next door. Sick. But what I wanted to mention, guys, is that we're going to do this whole new series. It's going to be 30 days to start uh, with being a vegetarian. Why am I doing this? Um, just because I want to try something new. And honestly, I want to learn, just kind of almost force myself to be extremely disciplined again. And what that's gonna allow me to do is just put myself in a mental space to where I can move forward into a competition prep. Um, just because, like I mentioned, the reason why I haven't put up any videos over the last couple months is, um, man, I've just been going through some uh, issues, relationship issues, you guys knew. If you guys have been following me, y'all know that I was married. Well, that's no longer a thing. Um, the reasons being, obviously, we can't talk about it, but that's just what's been happening, so. I kind of have to find, I have to find myself again, but here I'm, I'm back and uh, we're back better than ever. And we're gonna have some amazing content for you guys from here on out. Like, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's unexplainable. I can't really say much, but uh, just y'all look forward to it. Just put it that way. Um, another thing that we wanted to mention was we finally have some new apparel. Cause I, I've always had people ask me all the time, Jonathan, when are you gonna come out with some more shirts? Da, 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 da. And uh, I just really, I didn't know what to do, but we finally got some stuff coming. So these are the black, the new black shirts that I have with the new JI Fitness logo. So it's black and gold, and we have a series. This is gonna be the gold series. So we have black and gold, we also have white and gold, both tees and tank tops um, from sizes medium to triple XL. So if you guys wanna order, they're gonna be on my website tomorrow, which is gonna be Tuesday, May the 2nd. Um, but yeah, we could actually come take a look at it right now. So these are the white and gold ones. So we have the logo here. They're tagless with the size in the middle. And then, oh, I guess we can't show the logo on the back. <laughs> yeah, the logo is just the Jack Fitness logo on the back. And uh, yeah, so we you have all this, sizes. You picked the black one? Mm -hmm. So I can see. What I have on is a double XL. So if you guys want to kind of scale the size, and then that's the nice. back. So we have the full logo there. It's pretty dope. And then y'all know that I love tennis shoes. I, I haven't been collecting them in a while, but my whole stack is, I have to bring it back from my parents' house. Uh, I haven't uh, really picked them up, but today I wanted to put on some, some J's. Because they're super comfortable. I don't know if you guys know these, the tens, the quadrant blues. Man. So, like I said, I used to be an avid collector. These bad boys, I think I probably wore them one time and I've had them for, man, probably five years now. So it just shows you how, like, <laughs> how it is when it comes to kicks. <laughs> and then I have these on. These are the LeBron uh, Easters, the eight or the eight or nines, the nines, yeah. So I think that's the last time that I actually bought some shoes, other than training those shoes. Those are sick. Yeah, I love these, man, and they're hella comfortable too. Really, really comfortable. But I'm gonna go with these. Just a different, different I like look. Those too. Yeah, I, I think I like to call them like the Michigan Blues. But man, so this whole vegetarian thing is gonna be brand new for me. Um, but since I already kind of use a, a vegan protein, and what I do is I make this shake every morning. Um, if since if we're working out early, we're gonna actually go work out with Steve here at eight o'clock. So y'all check out, y'all check that out. Now, not everybody is gonna like this, but because I feel like it's really like an acquired taste mostly because it is a raw flavor. You can really taste it, but it's 100% organic. Garden of Life is an amazing, amazing brand. I use their multivitamin, but the macros on them are absolutely amazing. So we have one and a half grams of fat, 
eight grams of carb, which seven are fiber, and 20 grams of protein per scoop. And then if you check the ingredient list, you just see obviously just nothing but whole foods. This is what I like to use, and I think this, yeah, this is vanilla flavor. So I believe they have vanilla and a chocolate. So I use this. We do one scoop of this. And since I'm about to work out, my protein isn't gonna be as high with the with this meal. So what I what I normally do is actually 12 ounces, but we're only gonna do eight here. So I like to keep it simple. This is gonna be my, my main protein source that I'm gonna use this and this um, for this particular diet that we're doing. The body the last time. Yeah, I know. It's just dishes. Dishes are dishes. Normally everything will be washed, but it's just like man, it just never ends. It never ends. But so here we're always we use a scale, or we can just measure it. Just eight ounces. Perfect. This is 233 grams, which is roughly eight, eight ounces. So when you're tracking, I usually use grams. So it's the most precise. Get a couple ice cubes. Normally I'll actually add some spinach into this too, but since I don't have any spinach right now, it is what it is. It makes it greener. And uh, it's just a, a real quick, easy way to add some extra like micronutrients into a shake. Especially if you hate vegetables, I, then you really need to do it. I feel like a lot of people, they, they simply lack knowledge, you know, whenever it comes to, this is almond milk by the way, so I just added an extra um, 100, 100 mill, uh, milliliters. Uh, but they just don't know how to go about it. Um, so, you know, this is, again, this is new to me, so I'm gonna actually just be teaching myself along the way. So while I learn, you guys are gonna learn as well. And uh, I think it'll be nice. It'll be a nice little touch. And one little aspect that I want to add is just what it's gonna do to my physique as well. So later on, you'll see how, you know, where we're starting at. And this is May 1st, so it's like the perfect day to start. And by the end of the journey, the end of the 30 days, I wanna see what difference we make, not only with just weight, but just, you know, how we feel, uh, how, and I'll just I'll talk about these things each and every day whenever we're recording, but um, let's get this blended up and then we're gonna add some oatmeal on the side for our carbohydrates and then we're gonna run over to the gym and get this workout in with, with, uh, with Steve. Heavy, crazy chest workout because this dude is, he doesn't play. So, May 18th through the 23rd, I'll be in New York. Um, I already have uh, Nick Wright is gonna come through and, uh, and, and get a workout in with me, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the New York Pro is that weekend too, so I'm, I think I'm gonna try to go to it, um, but really I'm just gonna go out there, have some fun, just kinda roam around the city, visit some of the gyms, uh, possibly hook up with straightnet.com as well and uh, do, do a workout with them. Um, but then from there, the 23rd, I'm gonna be flying to Denmark. So we're gonna be staying there for a month. Um, I wanna have some, some kind of plans in between. Like I would love to visit Amsterdam. Like it's just been one of those kind of the destinations that I've been um, kind of have my mind set on for, for forever. And, uh, and then my, my cousin is actually stationed in Germany. So I would like to go visit him, probably stay like a day or two there. Um, so it's kind of what I wanna do while I'm out there. Obviously we're bringing you guys along. We're gonna keep, we're gonna vlog almost the entire time we're out there. Um, I'll just show you guys what we're doing and how, cause I'm gonna be prepping for a show. So I'm gonna show you how to prep, even though I'm out and about and just doing my thing. Um, just because I feel like that's really what people want to be able to learn is how to be able to do this and, and not feel stuck, you know, and, and um, not feel like you have to be here all the time. Cause that's, that's really like what kind of messed with me was, you know, I felt like I could never really travel or do anything because I was so one track minded, but now it's just, we got to learn to expand the mind to be able to do multiple things at once and, um, and not allow bodybuilding to just be your life. You know, you have to be able to have everything and, and learn to balance everything out. So that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, so that's in the future for for next month. So, or this month now, I forget, it's May. Yeah. <laughs> Are those the lightnings? Thunder, thunder, yeah. there you go. That's what I was like, I know it's one of them. <clears throat> It makes it that much more difficult. Come on. 
Cool, so we just stopped by uh, the 7-Eleven real quick to get something to eat because that workout took forever. But it was worth it. Got a crazy, crazy, disgusting pump, chest pump. Now we're here at Performance um, Group Exercise Gym. It's my friend Eric DiCarvalho's uh, gym here off Maple. So it's called a Go Macro Bar. Um, you can definitely taste the banana and almond butter. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it tastes natural. You don't have like anything artificial. Um, but the macros are pretty legit. So 12 grams of fat. You know, obviously they're going to be good source fat. And 34 carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 10 grams of protein. So it's not too shabby. You know, not too shabby. I just need a little bit of energy because I was, I was just starving. And I'm definitely going to need it for whatever the hell he's going to put me through. So <laughs> I'm ready. This is how we're going to get in shape and just... Look, like I said, I'm, we're just showing you guys how to do things and make make this fun. You know, you don't have to be stuck on a treadmill, on a stair mill, or just, you know, the hamster wheels, what I like to call them, mm -hmm. and just spinning your wheels, um, staring at a television, you know. Force yourself to do something different, and that's what we're going to show you guys. You know, it's been a goal of mine to do a muscle up, so I try at least one time a day. That might be too much. You don't want to take a hand. Bye guys, nice to meet you all. Bye, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now loosen those lats up by doing that kick, just in and out, in and out. There you go. All right, so when you're ready, goal is to get your hips to the bar, and then think of it. Yeah. Almost. You're still trying to what we're gonna do is where your problem is is yep. the conversion. Okay. So what we're gonna do is start pulling this sucker down. So down and over. See, that's the problem you're having is you're trying to muscle it. Yeah. Keep the bar close. Down. Up. Just like it. Same thing as that point up there. Okay. Yeah. So from here. Yep. Pull through. Okay. Better. Do you feel that difference? Yeah. Like it's not as tight anymore? Yeah. So you see how you're pulling to get your elbows under you yep. as opposed to pulling to get your biceps over? Yeah. That's, that's the motion we want to get. Yeah. So that little snap, uh -huh. all that is like that power. Yeah. Almost everybody, that's where they hang at because when they're right here, yep. that's when they're just trying to muscle it. Don't explode through. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can get something else. Come on. You got it. Oh, almost. Too slow still. I know. Got to pop that sucker. We'll it's get it same, one day. It's the same as when we did these the other day. Yeah. When you get up on that explosion, yeah. that's what we want to work on right there, that pop. Yeah. We'll master it, we'll master it. So what are we doing today as far as uh, conditioning? Uh, we're going to get a little strength and, uh, strength and power into your conditioning. So we're going to get this vest on. Okay. So we're going to do a sled pull while we're doing a heavy tire flip. First one's going to be easy. We're going to start pulling. Alright, attack this sled. So once you flip it up, now go quick, 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 right to the next one. So that sled doesn't have any any time to rest. Good, now take this. I'm gonna destroy these shoulders real quick while we get some cord. Okay. 15. Cool. Get those feet together and hit it harder. Twenty. Just bent. Hop over. Finish up that core that we were just hitting. Twenty. Two. Three. Oh my. Good, 90 seconds you're gonna go again. Okay. Um, Thursday, I'm usually a little, little lighter on Thursday. Okay, Wednesday, I'm here all day. And Tuesday, I'm here. Get it, brother. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. 
quick, quick, tag up, push. Step over, hop, step over, hop, step over. One up, one over, one up, one over. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Make yourself work, push yourself. Go beyond your limits, you know? When you're stuck in front of a TV, on the treadmill, elliptical, you're gonna get complacent. You're not gonna wanna push hard, you know? This right here, like I said, I'm lucky to have friends that are multifaceted they, they understand fitness on another level. Which again, I'm gaining knowledge and I'm taking myself through things that, you know, putting myself to a level that, you know, I would like to reach and go beyond. Be, don't be the typical bodybuilder. Yeah, from there, just swing, tap again. Rhythm, tap. So we're here at Performance Group Exercise. Um, you guys have seen the video that we did. I call it the CrossFit workout with Eric. Way back, but we're back here at the gym. Obviously it's not a CrossFit gym. I, that was a complete joke, all right? Relax, relax. But this, Eric is my conditioning coach. He helps me, you know, just take myself to another level. You know, and just like I was explaining to you guys earlier, um, the guy's a genius, you know, so I like to soak in as much information as I possibly can when I'm around him because he's extremely knowledgeable. You guys will see a lot of him in the future. You know, we're going to keep diving into different things and you'll just see how everything will come together and, uh, you know, just watch him kill me, man. What, what else do you do? Um, conditioning, functional movements, yep. corrective exercise, uh, rehab, prehab. Um, and then sports specific training for yeah. different athletes because we have a lot of high end athletes too. Yep. Yeah. So, what's the, uh, the address? 4238 Maple Avenue, Dallas, Texas. We're right here in the heart of the city. Yeah. Um, what's, your, uh, what's your Instagram? Instagram is Eric, E R I K underscore Primal Beast underscore PGX. And our other Instagram for the gym is Performance Group Exercise. Exercise doesn't have an E at the beginning. Well, I appreciate you guys coming through, checking out what we're doing while we get ready for these shows and just life in general. But we'll see you guys.